thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video so in this video i want to discuss on how to resolve a situation whereby your devices on premises are not being registered in microsoft intune so let's say you've configured an hybrid um, environment whereby all your devices your accounts should actually synchronize with azure active directory but also with microsoft intune which is now the microsoft endpoint manager admin center so if i go to device here and I go to all device you can see that i'm not having any device here in intune but if i go to azure active directory you can see that i have some devices there which actually some of the device which is being managed with Intune, which is like this workstation, should actually be populated in Intune. But we are not seeing anything right now. So the problem is this. If I go to my environment here, here I have my Windows Server, and I have my um, server which I'm using to configure Azure at the Connect, and I also have a work two workstation, which of course should be registered in Intune. But right now I'm not seeing them in Intune. So if I go to my domain controller, you can see I've configured two policies, which is the registered domain join computer as device and enable automatic MDN enrollment. So these two policies should allow all my devices to be um, enrolled in MDM or your Microsoft Intune without the user doing that manually. So but right now I'm not seeing that. So the problem is this. When I try to resolve the problem, so I go to event viewer and I realize that first of all, uh, let me just scroll down here. And so when I go to my event viewer, so I decided to go to another device management enterprise and diagnostic provider here. So you just, when you go to applications and service logs on the Microsoft Windows, and then you scroll down to the device management enterprise diagnostics provider. So if I go to um, admin and here you can see we have some error message. So every time my device try to get registered in MDM, but uh, something goes wrong. So what happened if I click one of the error message, you can see auto MDM enroll device credentials failed. So it says that the device credentials. So it's giving me a tip that there's a, there's a problem wrong with the credentials I used to actually log in to this device. So if I go to my task, um, scheduled here you can see in um, on our windows on our enterprise management you can see that the schedule created by enrollment client was successfully created it was successfully created so everything should work properly or should work everything should be okay but I'm still receiving error message that there's a problem with my device credentials so during my search to how come about this problem, this is actually my test, this is actually a test environment. So this same problem, you could face the same problem in the production environment or in your company. So I come to realize that if I go to uh, my Office 365 admin center, here we have, uh, let me just show you my active users here. So I've logged on with the Kelvin Johnson account. So the Kelvin Johnson account actually does not have an, um, it has an Office 365 E5, but he does not, uh, Kelvin Johnson account does not have a uh, Microsoft 365 um, account, which is actually linked to Microsoft Intune. So if I go to, let me just go to under um, billing and then show you, let me go to purchase service. And here in purchase service, just type E5. And now in five, you can see I have the Microsoft 365 E5, and we also have the Office 365 E5. So if I compare both license together and see, so here you can see where we have some options like the Office apps. So they both have the Office apps. But if I scroll down a little bit here, and we can see we have the um, there's the um, include some apps also, which is the apps online. We can see we have all the apps. But the problem is this. If I go to my Azure Active, uh, let me see, Microsoft Intune here, you can see the E5 has a Microsoft Intune, but the Office 365 E5 does not have the Intune subscription included in it, but just the Microsoft 365, because which is, of course, more expensive. So under the Microsoft Intune, you can see that it's, they all have a check mark, but this does not have any um, check mark with it, which means that this Office 365 does not have a license. And that's the problem which I have with Kelvin Johnson, because Kelvin Johnson is trying to log on with 
his account but the problem is his account is not linked to any um it's only linked to office 365 e5 and not to microsoft 365 so what we need to do is we need to assign kelvin johnson a license just assign microsoft 365 e5 click save changes so let me just use the opportunity to also assign all my users the microsoft 365 license and here you can see this account actually was created from uh, my um, office 365 but this account is being synced from my on-premises account so i'm going to assign this um, kelvin johnson again um, a license so i'm going to assign him a microsoft 365 e5 license saved and also we're going to assign simon johnson um e5 microsoft e5 license click save so click close so right now what we need to do is to go to our um, on-premises device here and then we just need to sign out of this device let me just sign out of this device sign out and then resign in again with your name so and then what you need to do also you need to go to your active directory here and then go to your start menu and then try to sync your um, on-premises with your active directory again so for everything so just start the synchronization, synchronization service and try to sync your on-premises with the cloud for everything to sync um, just to, for every changes to sync and then I think the problem will be resolved so let me try to restart um, let me try to sign into this device and show you that the problem has been resolved so after restarting my device and I go back to event viewer to check if everything goes well. So right now I can see that my device is being, the registration is being successful to Intune. So I'm not receiving any error message that says that I'm having problem with my credentials. And also if I decide to go to, let me just go to my Office 365 environment. And here, if I go to device, to Azure Active Directory and I, I just refresh, you can see my device, my C01, is now being said that it's been managed with Microsoft Intune and I logged onto that device as well as an hybrid um, Azure AD joint. So if you want to know how to configure an hybrid Azure AD joint, so I did a video about that. So you can check one of my video on hybrid, hybrid Azure AD joint. And you can see that the registration, um, it has been registered and the compliance is yes because we've not created any compliant policy so all the um, the device will surely be compliant so if i go to my intune environment so my microsoft endpoint manager and here you can see we have one device right now so the device is being still is still being registered so you can see it says we have one windows device and if i go to my windows here you can see we have a device which is being registered I think the process is still going on. So if I click on that device, here you can see that the device name is C01. And you can see that the primary user is Kelvin and it says it's compliant and it's also enrolled by me because I logged in with my name. And mind you, you have to assign, you have to have the right license to be able to see this um, this device in Intune. Without having the right license, you log to that device, the device, mind you, the device will not be populated in Microsoft into my name is kelvin johnson thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video i hope this video has been has been a great help to you because i received a lot of questions and that uh, they says um someone was telling me that he well, um, he couldn't find his device in um in intune but he's saying the device in azure active directory are not in intune so that is how this is how you resolve that problem mind you the problem you can actually check your event viewer and see what the, what error message you are receiving by knowing the error message you already have an idea on how to solve that problem. So with this problem, we already know that the problem is a license. The user does not have the right license to actually register as device. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. And also like my video and also leave a comment or you can send me a personal email and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and see you next time.